Good morning. I'm Good morning. Kratz, and I'm a graduate of 2013 as well. When I was sitting in this chapel last year, so that would be the chapel that was supposed to happen on Friday, uh, I was listening to the previous year's seniors talk about what they have done since graduating and epiphanies that they have had since as well. I had my eyes fixed on one goal, a goal that I feel was not necess necessarily one of my own. All through my years growing up, I was told I had to go to college. And once, and once I was old enough to be preparing for college, I was asked questions like, what college do you want to go to? Implying that I was going to college in the first place. Luckily, I had a family of supporters both at home and at this school. I distinctly remember asking Dr. Bishop to write a recommendation letter for me because I had so much respect for him, learned a lot from him, got along well with him, and I thought colleges would love to see that a doctor had written it. <laughs> I had his support through the whole process. The first time that I saw God working in my decision for what was in my future was when I did not get accepted in early decision to Lehigh University, a college that ranks right below Ivy League colleges. I could have gotten upset at the denial letter that I read, and part of me was upset, but senior experience had brought into my horizons. For the first time in my life, I had real thoughts about not attending a college after graduating. Although I got accepted to two other universities for engineering, I had dreams of becoming a barber. I thought people wouldn't be supportive of my decision, but leave it to Dr. Bishop to show his support again, yet again. He came up to me in the hallway one afternoon and handed me two newspaper articles that I still have about barbershops. I was shocked at first because I felt like I had failed my teachers because I was deciding not to go to college. But from then on, I started looking at teachers and classes a little more differently. The teachers at DOT are not here just to get you ready for college, although that's how it may seem at times. They are here to prepare you for your, your future in general. After graduating and talking with the barbers whenever I had the chance, the phrase, do what you love, love what you do, was brought to my attention and just solidified my decision even more. I love cutting hair and I love being able to talk to people and make people happy. The owner of the shop and I have had many conversations long after the shop was closed for the night. And the one night we talked about being servants. He said that barbers are servants, but he did not have any negativity in his tone. I never heard it described like that, so of course I couldn't wait for what he had to say next. Because I had no idea what he meant. But also because I didn't understand how a man could talk so positively about being a servant. I did some more thinking and research and came to the conclusion that what he was trying to say is that God is our Father and serving people helps us to know our place in his grand plan and encourages us to be more grateful for what we have. I am overjoyed with what I have been doing, the things I have been learning, and the people that I have met. I encourage everyone here to try new things, go outside of your comfort zone, and risk making a mistake. I am not at all saying not to go to college. But for those out there that have thoughts of maybe going against the grain, you are not alone. God has a plan for each and every one of you, but it is your job to find, it and find and discover what his plan is. Life wouldn't be any fun if someone made every decision for us. Just remember that. Now to wrap this thing up, I compiled a list of things I have learned since graduating. Number one, <coughs> men make appointments for the next 15 minutes. Women make appointments for men for the next month. <laughs> According to the outside world, I own a lot of land, should not have electricity, and should come to work in a horse and buggy. <laughs> I must be part of the Amish Mafia. <laughs> also, the very last one, while in the barber shop, the toilet seat does not have to be put back down. <laughs> now thank you, have a great day.